think what I missed most about not being in the gym was uh, not realizing the things that I did miss most. So for me, it was the weights. Uh, over the four months of lockdown, I didn't have any weights to work with. That was not available to me. I kept myself physically active the whole time, but I didn't realize that I missed all that strength and weights training until I got back into it. And that first session, I forgot what that feeling was like, popping the headphones back on, lifting some weights, feeling really powerful and feeling like I'm accomplishing something every single set and rep that I did. Uh, that was the thing I didn't realize I missed most was the things that I didn't have around me available to me at that time. I found coming back to the gym a little bit daunting at first in the sense I sort of was like, maybe in my head the first couple of weeks I got back into and sort of thought, oh, do I still remember how to do this? And do I still remember even just how to move my own body the way that I used to? And um, as soon as I got back into it, I think once I got past the first class, once I got past the first PT session, but my own session as well, on that same first day that we got back into it, I could feel my confidence come back straight away. It was one of those things where it was sort of like you get into a bit of your head and you go, wait, where am I at? I don't know where I'm at, I'm about to find out. So once I did, I was, I was very pleasantly surprised. And um, coming back to the gym, seeing so many people excited to be back in that environment uh, after being away from it for so long, I think that that was a bit of the same for them. They didn't realise what they missed most until they were came, coming back. And to see them so excited, it made me excited as well. My plan when I returned was just to take it slow and steady. I feel like I can adapt a little bit of the tortoise turtle lifestyle and just take it nice and slow and steady and that will win the race. I didn't want to jump in and try and compare myself to where I was uh, a year ago or six months ago. I knew that that was a completely different person then and I'm a different person now. So I didn't want to be like, oh, I was lifting these weights or I was this fit before or I was able to do these yoga poses before, maybe not so much now. Um, my plan was just to take it slow and steady and see the progression unfold each and every week or each and every day if it comes that quickly. Um, that was my plan. So not to rush too much. I didn't want to injure myself and I didn't want to risk the possibility of burning out either. So for me, it was to take it slow and steady and enjoy the process of getting back to where I want to be. I would say the biggest difference between training at home or by yourself um, to training back in a gym environment or an atmosphere where you have a lot of people surrounding you doing something very similar or even doing something completely different and you feel inspired by seeing other people push themselves and I know I've heard in the past that other people feel inspired seeing someone else push themselves and that's the biggest thing for me. You feel uplifted by that atmosphere. You sort of grab ideas from other people watching them train or seeing them really push themselves and go, yeah, I wanna be there. I wanna take myself to that level as well. So that was the biggest difference was the atmosphere. When I was at home, I would like do like a couple of little um, core exercises at home. And then I'd be like, oh, maybe I can go off and do a little bit of the housework as well. And when you're at the gym, you can't really do that. Well, if you want to do the housework at the gym, you're more than welcome to. But um, at the really, at, when you're at home, you sort of have these distractions that are constantly around you. When you're in a gym and in that environment and atmosphere, those distractions are kind of taken away. So that atmosphere of just being able to focus on being present and getting the job done in the session, that was the biggest thing and the biggest difference between training at home and in a gym. I would say just take your time, come back when you feel ready. Also know that uh, each and every class or if you're just coming in to do cardio or if it's weights or a PT session, 
that we're taking all the right measures to keep you safe and also make you feel as comfortable as possible and that there will be an easy way of you getting back into it. The first session is always the hardest, but once you get past that first one, it just gets a little bit easier and easier every single time. And then once you find that momentum and you know when you've got it, that's a really good way to just keep that ball rolling and working harder and, and you'll see that progress unfold and that in its own right is motivating. So don't be too daunting or daunted or afraid of coming back in that first session. Yes, it's hard for everyone, but once it's done, the rest of it's a lot easier.